Hi, Laura. Hi. What kind of van do you have? I have a 2016 Chevy Express cargo van. Nice. Converted to my home on wheels. And how much miles per gallon do you get? 17. Nice. Mm -hmm. And is there any other things about the van? Uh, well, it's um, only got 35,000 miles on it. Oh, nice. I've been it for like a year, almost two years. Um, I got, you want me to describe the outside of it first? Yeah, or? yeah. Uh, I don't know the engine, what kind of engine it is or anything. It's gas. <laughs> That's, all I know. That's good. Um, I got, when I first got on the road, I tinted all the windows, okay. like as dark as possible on the side and the back, just for privacy and to keep heat out. And then as dark as you can legally go, like in the front, but it like adds to like the stealthiness. Yes. That's why I like it. So I kept it, I kept it stealthy on the outside. Like nice. I only put my stickers on the inside because I do some stealth parking in cities. Yeah, and you've got um, this um, hazard bar on the back, so you kind of look like a utility van. Yeah, I actually put it on there because I don't want people running into me, but yeah, it helps with the stealthiness too. Yeah. <laughs> So um, let's look at the inside. Okay. You've got okay. your passenger seat flips yeah, you around. Can, yeah, flip the seat around. It's not on a swivel, but the seat's flipped around. Um, Is it permanently this direction? Yes. Okay. But you can always flip it back around or get a swivel for it. But I like it because I sit here and I can read or whatever, sit back. And I use this, the table. Um, this is a table slash chair slash holder of toilet stuff. Yes. <laughs> But I like this because I'll put my little camp stove there and do my cooking. Um, and then when I sit there to do dishes or whatever. And then I have, here is my, I have a water pump. So there's my like fresh water and then gray water. It's like RV terms, I guess, because mm -hmm. I used to be in an RV. Um, so I just use it sparingly and just dump that whenever it gets filled up. But I like having a sink in here. And um, I have... Two, I don't know if you can, if you want to film the top, but yeah. I have two Renogy 100 watt solar panels. Nice. And, and they power um, two AGM sealed batteries in the back that powers my LED lights that I have up here. And it powers my, um, my pump for my sink. Nice. And then my refrigerator right here. So I have a Dometic refrigerator. Which is, um, you could put it on freeze or cold or, uh, or fridge, but it's pretty awesome. I like yeah, this fridge. It's good. And then, um, I love this little water pump having that in here. Yes, it has it's the like, same one. It's great. So convenient. And then I have my inverter under here. It's a thousand watt inverter. And the, the, so the batteries and the solar power, um, is connected to these Wander controller in the back. Okay. Can't see it from here though. Um, so it's thousand watts there. So I, tr I call this my charging station for my, for my computer and my phone. I charge everything down there and all the clothes I own are in here. Yeah. <laughs> Just these two bins. And then I have a bunch of storage back there too. And, um, when a lot of people come in here, they say it looks really roomy. And I think it's because this bed is in the back. Yes. I see. I'm only like five, two. So like I sit back here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Me too. I'm like, the only but it's like, it can easily be converted. I figure I can easily convert it to a bigger bed because you could just extend the wood here if I ever wanted to. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I have, these are the wheel wells right here. So I just had this built all the way across. So this side side's got the batteries and then this is just storage underneath there. Nice. Um, Let's see what else. I put these little sayings on the walls, like little positive sayings that I liked. They're so cute. <laughs> the best things in life are not things, they are experiences. Yes. Nice. And simple abundance. Simple you can abundance. live simply and be abundant. And choose your reality and acceptance is a pathway to peace. And then I have my little travel sayings over here that I learned on the, on the road. Like home free, live free, be free. Be free. <laughs> Adventure before dementia. <laughs> <laughs> I got that from someone else I saw somewhere. That's awesome. Um, and then I got my, um, I put these curtains up with um, heavy, duty, heavy duty pitcher hanging wire. Oh like yeah, yeah. Home Depot or whatever. And that, wor that works out good. And I got these blackout curtains to make it pretty dark in here. And um, I put this here because the cargo vans, you get the, um, the little things that stick out. Mm -hmm. You know, with the holes in them or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of just decorative there. There's um, 
These are from like the Home Depot or Lowe's for like 20 bucks a panel. Nice. They're just like, I guess they're called like beadboard or wainscoting or something like that. But underneath it is insulation. Um, it's just like home insulation put up with Gorilla Tape. Oh. But it works great. You good, know? good. It stays cool in here like a really long time before, get, you know, when the sun's out. Um, and what else can I say? I got my little magazine rack over here, which I like having that there. Yeah. It's my like my little nightstand. So cute. And I could pick like all these like different colors. My, my son insisted that um, I had to have multiple colored lights. See the sensors right there. <laughs> ah, you can have but, a disco party. Yeah, but I usually don't keep it on that one. So yeah, it's all these little different. Lights. Oh, the red light district is that what that was yeah, supposed yeah. to mean? Yeah, <laughs> my friend that helped me convert this, so and my son um, helped me too. I was joking around with him if I run out of money on the road, <laughs> that would never happen ever. <laughs> So, <laughs> gotta keep your options open. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then, you know, this is just my, I mean, I, oh, I do have some, a little bit of clothes up here, just on my, my towels and stuff, and this is just my kitchen area right here, um, and I just keep my toiletries and things like that there, and I was working on the road, so I got, actually got a printer that works on the solar and everything. Um, hmm. Do you have any, any, and then I have my stove I just store underneath the, um. Oh, yeah, your stove. Yeah, it's, I just pull that out when I need it and then um a little storage behind the seats and everything yeah I like yeah. your setup a lot yeah thank you the um so the toilet situation mm -hmm. not everybody does this but mm -hmm. you use um hamster bedding for <laughs> you can make me talk about the toilet <laughs> yes yeah you don't need to show me the toilet no. but no, it's just the, um, it is like a Home Depot bucket, you know, with a gamma lid. Mm -hmm. And, um, I started out with one of those ones I had from tent camping you get at Walmart, but it seemed like you have to empty it more and all that. Mm -hmm. So the bucket is just hamster bedding and for the number two. Mm -hmm. And then when it gets full, you know, put it in a bag tied up and throw it in a dumpster. And then for the number one, mm -hmm. it's just a, a bottle. Okay. Yeah, with the wide uh, thing on it, with the wide opening and lid on it, and just dump that whenever I, I'm somewhere I can dump it. Nice. So yeah, I just like to keep it all in there. So it's and you know, living in a van, you need to have multiple uses for everything. Mm -hmm. so like I said, table, chair, storage for the toilet and everything. Yeah, I love and it. Then the floor, since it's a cargo van, it's got the rubber matting underneath here with a little bit of, a little bit of insulation in there, and I just got this carpet you get. Um, like at Home Depot or, or Lowe's. I don't remember where I got everything now. <laughs> yeah. But they have it on a roll. And you just tell them what the measurement is. And this was, I think this was just $20 for the whole floor. And I just oh, wow. had it with scissors. And then we just shoved it under this part. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So whenever the carpet needs to be changed, it's like 20 bucks. You want to, you know. Yeah. And it's it's comfortable. I, I think it would, were your feet cold stepping on this this morning? No, that's a band of carpeting. Yeah, my feet were <laughs> cold this morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, I I really like your setup, and you. so you are planning on doing what in the near future? I am planning on selling this van, so it's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love my van, but I'm uh, I've been all over the U.S. in this van. I've been all over the U.S. in my fifth wheel and truck, my fifth wheel RV and truck I had for two and a half years. Um, so I've been so many places in the U S that I wanted to go that I want to go back to backpacking overseas. Um, so I thought about storing this, but I'm going to be gone for a while and I didn't want to, I mean, you know, I don't want to have to keep coming back mm -hmm. if I, I don't want this, this holding me here where I got to pay for storage and somebody to start it and, and yes. drive it around every once in a while. So I thought it would be best to, to sell it, even though I love it. This is Freebird, by the way. This is the name of my van. <laughs> Freebird. <laughs> yes, the lyrics of Freebird. I must be traveling on now. There's too many places I got to see because I'm as free as a bird now. Aww. So yeah, so I need Freebird. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's my plans. First stop, Morocco. That's what I'm planning on doing. I'm waiting till till the van sells before I buy my ticket. I'm so excited for you. I am too. I do love van life. I absolutely love van life. Might go back to it one day, but there's just so many more places and cultures I want to immerse myself in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, awesome. Well, thank you for showing me your rig before it gets sold, but Thanks. yeah.
<laughs> if, um, where can where are we sending people? Uh, for, for if you're interested in the van, oh, it's a uh, twenty six thousand eight hundred. By the way, I might start lowering the price, um, but it's only got thirty five thousand miles and it's a two thousand sixteen. I have it on Craigslist, and I have it on Facebook Marketplace. All right, thank you, mm -hmm. and those will be in the description below for anybody who wants to check out her rig some more. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>